What I want to do today is connect our Slack and Google Chat apps so that whenever we post on our selected Slack channel, a message will automatically be sent out to our selected Google Chat space as well. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial, so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Slack to trigger a message in Google Chat, I'll need to use Slack as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Message Posted to my channel as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Slack sees a message has been posted into our selected channel, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Slack, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Slack account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. Next, we'll need to set up our trigger apps data. Under channel, pick the channel you want to use for your zap. I'm going to click general. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click test trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in Google Chat into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click create message and click continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Google Chat with Zapier, just like I did with my Slack account. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier has got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue, and we'll need to ensure that Zapier is properly linked to our Google Chat space. Head over to your Google Chat page and click the button that says Add People and Apps. Type in Zapier on the search bar, select the app, and then click Add to add in. Next, click Allow Zaps. Great, let's head back over to our Zap. We can start to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps field. First, pick the chat room you want your data to appear on. I'm going to click Zapier's production team. For the message title, I'm going to type in a custom message. I'll click username on the dropdown and then type posted in Slack. And then under message text, I'll click text on the dropdown menu and click continue. Click test action and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a message has been sent out into our selected Slack channel, a message will automatically be sent out into our selected Google Chat space as well. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.